New at 11, we're now unraveling the mysterious identity of a Polk County robber known as John Doe. It turns out the man who held a needle to an eight-year-old boy's neck has killed before. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos is live in Lakeland with more on this suspect and his chilling past. Maricela? His name is Angel Velez Carden. Before he stepped into this store many years ago, he's accused of some more serious crimes in Puerto Rico. Betty Hester can't seem to get away from the man who robbed her store twice earlier this month. And now that I hear all this new stuff, whoo, that makes me even more scared to think what he could have done to the baby. Five days after he was arrested, detectives revealed John Doe is actually Angel Velez Carde. They were able to get a partial fingerprint identified through a national system and it come back saying that it's possibly an individual from Puerto Rico. A Lakeland detective quickly discovered Velez Carde has a dark past in Puerto Rico. He was incarcerated for murder, uh, weapons violations, and another one was introducing contraband into a uh, correctional facility. Authorities say he robbed the Dixieland Antique Shop on July 4th and 10th, the first time pressing a hypodermic needle into Hester's eight-year-old great-grandson's neck the second time holding a screwdriver to a customer's neck. He didn't get away with a lot of cash. It does scare you even worse. I'm just glad I didn't know that at the time. Equally surprising, Hester says a woman claiming to be the suspect's mother stopped by the store on Tuesday. She started telling me he, she didn't raise him that way and what uh, a good son he had been. Despite the tearful apology from mom, Hester says she'll never forget the violence that happened in her store. He should be prosecuted as hard as he can get. I did speak on the phone with the woman who claimed that she's the suspect's mother. She did not want to talk to me. Now, I can tell you that Lakeland detectives still want to learn more about this suspect, like how long he's been in this area. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.